guys, so in this episode we're going to be going over a leveling system inside Slick 2D. So I'm going to make a really basic one right now where you just basically you walk over something and you get some points. But in the future what you can do is you can use it for mobs, stuff like that, you know, so you can kill something and get points for it. So I'm going to do this in the world map and we're going to create a function or a, yeah, we'll First, I gotta fix all of these. These are still really annoying me. We're gonna create um, a method, and we're gonna call it um, something along the lines of like leveling system. So where does this go to? Up here. That does not look right. Why is this so far out? Um, I do not know. Anyway, we're gonna make a public void. Um. Let's call this just level system. And inside level system, we're going to make a switch statement. And we're going to check um, a parameter in here. So we're gonna, basically, we're just going to make a string. And we're going to call this string level. And this is going to check what we've done, because basically in the future we're going to want to have multiple levels. Or multiple things you can do to get levels, I mean. So we're going to check a level, right? Does it not know what level is? And so we're going to do case. It always does that. Okay, we're just going to leave it like that. And we're going to write um, object1 in here. And we're going to break that. And then we're going to write something along the lines of... Um, well, first of all, we're going to go up here. Actually, let's make a variable first. Okay, so we're going to set a variable to a number. So we're going to say level, like amount, plus equals one so every time you go get this you get one and so level amount we need to set the top again as where should we set this where's ints well we'll set it down here int level amount and i want to make this probably public static because we're probably going to want to make this through worlds and now we're gonna go to render we go Actually, we'll put this like at the top. I'll put it right here. It doesn't really matter. G dot draw string. And then we're going to write um, level. Oh, I don't, okay. We need to fix our thing. So we're level plus level. Yeah, level. Okay, so we're going to do level. Level is going to be the actual level number. Level amount is going to be how much numbers there are. So what we're going to do is level. And then... Actually, here's what we'll do. Yeah, so do level 1 plus, and then we're going to write, I say, level... Uh, we'll write points, I guess. I don't really know how to say this. Points. Because I'm actually just playing in a bar right now level plus actually we want to add a little space here too so plus points and then plus level amount so what this is now going to do is it's going to display the level amount and the level and also i want to make a third variable and we're going to say like out of so we're going to say, uh, div oh, actually, just divide the divide symbol plus um, level needed. So we're basically the level is your actual level. Level amount is how much points you have out of how many you need to level up. So we made two more ints right here. I'm just going to copy this really quick, just make this simple. I'll put level amount 
Level. What would we call it? Level needed. Or we'll call it points needed, actually. You can call it whatever you want. I don't really care. Actually, no. Let's just keep it level needed. Because I want to keep it the same. It's not at the bottom. If it's level. When we walk over level 1. Did we do that right up here? We didn't even set the rest of it. Okay, we should probably do that. So we're going to say this is at maybe like 120. No, wait, wait. I want to set it at 20. 2020, that works. And now, level amount plus equals 1. So we're adding 1 to level amount. And every time this thing is run, we have to check if... Actually, let's make two switch statements. So we're going to make a second switch statement to make this simple. So actually, in the start... Oh, well, hold on. Let's finish this here first. So we're checking level again. Here we're actually checking level. Um, That's not right. We're going to call this level uh, S. We're just going to call this level S just to make it simple. Now we're checking the actual level int. So, case, zero. Actually, we'll start at one. We'll start at one. Or wait, sir, it's at zero right now. So we'll say zero. Oh, I read that wrong. Break. And we're going to say if level amount is greater than or equal to, and let's say you need 10 points to get to level 1. So if it's greater than or equal to 10, level amount, actually let's just make this simple for now, we're not going to do a case statement at all. Shift tab. Did I write that wrong? Oops, plus. Actually, here, we're going to set this first. So we're going to say, no, sorry, level plus plus. And then we're going to, first we're going to set level amount equal to zero again. Because we want it to be zero. I think we put an extra one there. So basically, it's checking the level amount. So actually, let's do 10, right? Let's do 10 just so we can actually do that. Actually, we're going to set it to, um, we actually do level amount minus equals 10. Because we want to keep our extra amount. And then up here, we just need to basically at start in our, let's go into our update. We're going to do this right here. So I'm actually just going to, actually no, let's write this out. So I'm actually let's just copy this. And we're going to say this is for a level, uh, object one level. And... This is when you get in the car, so we're just going to leave it at the same position as when you get in the car. But we're going to say if you hit F, just in my case, so I can do that easier. And then we're going to say, what do you call it? Level system. So we're going to run level system. Is that what we called it? Yeah. Oh, level system, and then we have to say this is object 1 in here. So what, what's gonna happen when you, I hit F on the car? It's gonna load this method, which is gonna say, okay, we're we're in object one. Add ten, and then it's gonna come down here and say if its level amount is greater than or equal to ten, which it will be. We're gonna set level plus plus and minus ten from the amount. So we're gonna do that again. And now we should be able to actually check it multiple times. So if you look here, level is zero. Actually, I want to move this down. Let's move that down a little bit so you can actually see it. Where is it? 2020. So we'll make this like 2050. And that should work. So now level is zero. Point is zero out of zero. I don't think we actually set the second part yet. But let's go find where the car is. And what we're going to do is we're going to hit F. And as you can see, as long as we're holding down F, it's loading it. So in my case, it's not really going to work out too well. Uh, 
how do we get do we set how to get out of the car because basically how this is working is it's as long as the key is down it's going to keep adding in like a different case it would be you kill the mob but then you get the points but it's just an example so as you can see it works so the points that we needed aren't uh now, actually, points needed is always going to be equal to 10 in this case. So what we can do is we can actually come up here and set the amount needed to equal to 10. So now, it's going to say we always have 0 out of 10. But say we come down here and we set it to, like, 5 or 1. Let's set it to 1 so we can actually show you this. So right now we have 0 out of 10 points, and we're level 0. So you come over here. We hit F. Now it's 5 out of 10. And then we get our point, and then, you know, it just goes up from there. Uh, so that's how you make a simple level system. So yeah, thanks for watching.